the game paused in a moment of peace upon us, I'd like to point out something about our hero, 80s Glasses Man. Not only is his hair exceptionally flat and his muscles really big, he also has absolutely huge boots! Look at them! Each one individually is as big as his head! And now you can't unsee that! You're welcome! Welcome back, folks! Now let's replay Navy Seals! And when last we left off, we are right at the end of level 4! At the end of this level is the informant that we need to talk to to find out where those American Stinger missiles have been taken to, but you need to be very careful here because there are loads of enemies at the end that will swamp you if you just charge forward. And so we didn't charge forward, and there was actually a little bit of flickering there because there were so many sprites on screen. But we won! Congratulations! You now know where the missiles are! We were very persuasive. I think it was the glare. Very persuasive glare. The story so far. The terrorist base is located in the war-torn slums of Beirut City. You infiltrate the city at night and prepare to attack. This is the longest level in the game. It is the most difficult level in the game. It is also the final level in the game, and the only one that you can't practice. Our objective is to destroy the base and the missiles, which I think just means get to the very end, and we're doing it alone. I think in the movie there were multiple people, I think we're indicating to somebody there, but we're by ourselves here. I hope you have lots of lives and uh, screen clearing power ups, like we don't, because that'll make this a lot easier. Also, it's pointing at the sky. Let's go! This level immediately starts off with somebody who will just run at you, and this foe here. I really wish that you could, like, take a uh, machine gun power up with you from another level. It would make these levels so much easier at the start, but uh, I do understand why they do it. This level, remember when I said that the kid gloves had been taken off earlier? They've been replaced with spiky gauntlets now, because uh, this level throws everything at you in an effort to make you fail. If you game over here, there are no continues, you have to start all over again from the very beginning. Also, ignore that person there with the pistol, there is zero reason to go there, you will just waste time. And you don't want to waste time here! What you do want to do is grab that machine gun, take care of this enemy here, and try and get to the top left here, because uh, the top left has a uh, time power-up. You want that power-up. Time is of the essence here, and you need as much of it as you can get. Now, we want to uh, take care of you. The uh, door here is not going to open, that's the door we came through. So, deal with you, take care of you. We wasted two shots there, that's unfortunate, but uh, I'd rather waste two shots than uh, lose a life. I, I really want you to move further away. That'll have to do. Deal with you, deal with you, and you, and you, and you. And we need to be very careful, because sometimes you can uh, miss when they jump. Also, that enemy is there to sneakily tell you that you're not going back. You really can't deal with that foe at all. Now we're going to uh, go over here, because we need the bullets that are over here. Also, we need to take care of these enemies. One, two. And this enemy too! That jumped! Well, that's unfortunate. Deal with you, take care of you deal with you, and don't know where you come from, but we need to deal with you right now, because you're a pistol enemy and you will make this really tricky for us. When the enemies jump is really the trickiest time to shoot them. It really, really is. Now we need to move forward quite fast because of this foe here. If you don't deal with that foe, you have to uh, use a power-up to deal with them. And fortunately we have one of those, but I'd rather not have to use it. Now we want to go this way, because again, there's time. Also, we got rid of you. That is a brilliant development. That saves us a lot of effort. Go down here, take care of you, grab this, go into here, get an extra life. There's more time here as well. We want that time, we also want to take care of you. Oh, that was so close. More time. We didn't get a huge amount of it, but more time is good. Also, deal with you. Grab... Yes, it's all here. Sometimes the extra life won't spawn and you'll have to go off screen to get it, but uh, it did that time. Great. We want to go this way, that's fine. Down here, and this way. Now enemies are going to appear, because uh, they will. That's what this game's like. One, two, three. Up here. Yep. I was about to lose a life. Use it. And I'm going to use another one! 
because no way am I dealing with that. Enemies? Yep, there's you. There's also you. Can you jump up? Yes, you can! Enemy behind. Enemy here, with a gun. Enemy here, another enemy with a gun. And you. Just gonna deal with you. And you. Up here. We could keep going, you know what? I'm gonna keep going and see what's over here. Probably a terrible mistake. There's... Ooh, a lightning power-up. That is totally worth getting. Can't really go... Oh! Good thing we had it! Let's just keep going, shall we? Hello. Goodbye. We could do a very careful jump. Get over to here. Oh, this was worth doing. Look at all this stuff. Time. A lightning power-up? There may be multiple ways through this level. I don't remember. Oh, look at that. Okay, maybe not, but this was totally worth going to get because, uh... That's great. <laughs> That's sneaky, though. It's very sneaky. I didn't gain anything from doing that. However, we learned something. We, we learned not to go that way anymore. Let's go. This way. There's you. So basically, when you go through that door and get those goodies, press select right away, otherwise you are just doomed. Oh, hello. And we lost a life there, but that's okay. We, we have more. There's probably some time definitely pressing select here because there are five enemies on screen that will all try and kill me. Gonna go this way. Anyone here? You just gotta inch forward, but you don't have the time to inch forward because enemies will just keep coming and uh, you need to be able to uh, make forward progress. Anyone here? Yes, there's you. There's also you. And you. And you. Anyone here? Yes. 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 What's over here that makes going this way worth it? That's worth it! That's a machine gun, or a submachine gun. Either way, it's worth it. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna wait for this to open. Come on, I know you're going to. There we go. Up we go. You're gonna drop down? That suits me perfectly. This way. Hello. Hello. What's over here? Enemies that are going to drop? Enemies that are going to climb? You're going to climb? Hmm. I need you to actually climb up here. There we go. Time? Oh. No, not time. Okay, there's you. Is there something down here? Yes, there's you, for instance. Let's jump over you. Do that. You're gonna jump up. We're really low on time now. We need to go down. Okay, what if we go down here? Okay, there's you. Hi! Oh! That was, uh, very close. We are very low on time, though. Very low on time. What's over here? I don't know. Let's go. Congratulations! You have destroyed the terrorist base. Aha! I did it! And with that, folks, mission completed. The Navy SEALs are victorious! You scored 110,150. And here are the credits, where everyone's like, yeah, we totally did it! Who are these people? We have no idea, but the guy in the headlock looks like he's in severe pain. You should probably let him go. What can I say about this game? It is really rewarding to finish it. It's really not quick. You saw me just blaze through it there in uh, just a little under half an hour. But for a game that you just pick up and play, it's just the right length. It's about half an hour and you can get quite far. Even if you're not that good at the game, you can practice the levels to get better. You can, uh, it's got those little things that make the experience better. Also, it does have fantastic music. I didn't comment on the music because there's not a lot of it. But we are listening to the uh, end theme. It's, I think, one of like four tracks, but 
music's good, the graphics are pretty good, and the gameplay is very solid and, uh, difficult, but solid. You don't have many options available to you. But I did manage to scrape my way through. Ho oh, ho! Just. Because my. This game. Also, unlike other games, pressing start gets you back to the main screen, because that's good. Being stuck on uh, that screen and going, oh, you have to uh, load up the game again, just that little uh, inconvenience, a nice quality of life touch. But yes, as far as movie tie-ins go, it's a pretty solid one. You don't need to have seen the movie to play it, and it doesn't really look like there's very much recognisable. I mean, I don't recognise any of the actors in any of those uh, people that were in that uh, end part, but it's a very quick and very fun game. Not very long, not a huge amount of replay value either, but I bet you could get really good at this game. I bet the speedrunning for this game is absurd. I don't think I'll ever be able to do it, but uh, other people probably can. I mean, there are some very big models for the uh, enemies here, and uh, really detailed backgrounds. Didn't mention the backgrounds, a little too busy uh, trying to... Uh, I don't know why you'd use that there, but uh, maybe just to show it off, but... Uh, very... a lot of work put into it. Uh, some people deride Ocean Software games as being uh, cheap cash-ins, but this game has some definite effort put into it. Some real good effort. And it shows in the fact that it's stuck in my memory all this time, and uh, I've enjoyed returning to it. I mean, it's as difficult as I remember it being, and we literally got through the end by the skin of our teeth, but uh, we got there. And so, when we come back, folks, something... Okay, you fell there. That, uh, not something I've done uh, in a very long time, but uh, thanks for showing that off. I do like when uh, demos show off things that you can potentially fall victim to, but when we come back, folks, something completely different. Maybe not a replay. Who knows? There are many options ahead of me, even for games I've done before, but so many more of those that I haven't. And so, I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Replay Navy Seals. The world is safe once again, but for how long? In the early 90s, the world was under peril a lot in movies. My, there were loads of action movies. Absolutely loads of them. Were they as absurd as Navy SEALs? Possibly. Were they as 80s as Navy SEALs? Probably not. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Oh, and uh, if you find someone selling boots as big as the ones that we're wearing right now, let me know. I won't buy them, but, but please let me know. I don't know how expensive they are. Later.